I'm feeling nervous. Really nervous. Alex? Do you want to go? You nervous? <sighs> Kinda. Probably shouldn't have eaten that pizza. Yeah, Alex had pizza for breakfast. Leftover pizza. Tasty, but I think it made me feel... At least I don't have the spicy one. So we've arrived outside the estate mm. agent. We're very early for once and thanks to me. Yeah, let's get this let's get this done. I just wrong estate agent, didn't we? That way. I just put the um, estate agent's office into my phone and didn't think that there'd be like more than one. Or just, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. And we were early, thank God. Now we're probably gonna be late for this one. I guess we can explain. For like an income poop. <sighs> Do you have to pay? I'm gonna run in and you have to meet me there, okay? We made it, we're here. Yeah, I'll check the we were nervous about nothing really, weren't we? We just had yeah. to give them our passports yeah. and sign sort of the document for all the fees and the money and how much it's gonna cost and when to pay it, blah, 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 all that boring grown up stuff. And so we've done that now. And yeah, we've just got the final stages of all the official boring stuff, signing things and credit checks and all that. And then, um, yeah, we'll have a flat, which is crazy in the lovely, area of Brighton and Hove and I'm just so excited, I'm excited. Oh, you smell that air. <laughs> it's lovely, I can't believe it. We're gonna go and get yeah. some lunch now to celebrate. Yeah, I'm so happy that we've got this all documented as well, the whole process. Yes. Um, the estate agent who's looking after us, so nice, isn't she? She's so happy yeah, and friendly. Nice. Every other estate agent was a bit They were a bit miserable. Gloomy. Yeah, she was so nice. So yeah, really, really happy. Ah! While Alex is trying to get out of this really tight space, <laughs> we are going to a place called Larda um, because it's a little vegan sandwich shop. Oh, there we go. I cannot wait to try all the different vegan restaurants here. Yes. I literally can't wait. And like, look at this. This is obviously not the street we live on, but um, all the streets here, you're just like by the sea. Look at that. They all end in this. They all end in this. Like, look the sea right there look how beautiful that is it's just stunning it does not portray on camera at all <laughs> yeah we're just gonna get a sandwich and then go home because we've got lots of things to figure out and do and um, plenty of time to explore Brighton but when we live here the best part about this road is when we were driving down the cyclists who are cycling would keep up with the cars because mm -hmm. of the red lights because so, the traffic's slow. so it's the same time to get into the center of Brighton by bike as it is by mm -hmm. car we barely use a car yeah we we'll probably only use a car going back home. We're not going to spend the rest of the day in Brighton because... No, no, we'll just have lunch. Just have lunch, go back home. We've got, got stuff to do. to do. We've got tidying. Lots of official things to do, yeah. planning. Ah, oh, I've got to get furniture and stuff. Aren't you happy that we're like filming all this? If I was watching, oh, yeah. if I was a viewer, I'd love this. I'd love to see all the behind the scenes. And I love it when people document their process of moving and um, all of it. It's so much fun, so... You better be enjoying this. <laughs> Okay, so Loving Heart, Infinity Foods and Lada are all on the same street and we just walked past a Cornish pasty place that's had, had vegan pasties. We were literally spoiled for choice. And the vegetarian shoe shop. And the vegetarian shoe shop just there. And the Infinity Foods kitchen says that they have vegan mac and cheese, so we're going to have to pick which one we want. Which one do you want? I want vegan mac and cheese. That's a pretty I 
Oh dear. Do you need me to move over? How's the mac and cheese? Not as good as ours. It's not, but it is nice. Okay. That place we ate at, by the way, is called Infinity Foods. Just there. And now I can't resist but going into the vegetarian shoe shop to look at some Doc Martens because I've probably wanted Doc Martens since I was about 17 and never, never bothered. And now I'm vegan. I want some vegan Doc, Doc Martens. So let's have a look. Another vegan restaurant. Like, literally, this street is like a vegan gold mine. <laughs> I wish we'd got, um, a, like, a baked good goodie for later. Um, you can go back to that place if you want. Nah. Yeah, we went in um, the shoe shop. I thought they would sell like various brands, but they just sold their own own brand of like shoes that look like Doc Martens, except they weren't quite as nice. So I think I'll probably try and get some online. Let's go in here, Infinity Foods. I bet they have something in there that I can eat. So I guess this is the health shop of that cafe. Which one came first, I I wonder. Oh, look, all the vegan shoes. <laughs> They've even got this. Look at all that new bar Oh yeah. Oh my god. Heavenly. Look at all the different hummus. And they've got sauerkraut, kimchi. This has upped my excitement for living here by like a million percent. Percent, yes. <laughs> These are like my favourite shops ever. This is not making me so excited. A street with loads of vegan restaurants and then a health food shop with loads of vegan food in it. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks the best. It's huge. Halloween. I wish I got that on camera. What were you saying just then? Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Alex likes doing South African accents. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I wonder if anyone watching South African is that a good or bad accent? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Oh,